In this episode, I'm going to be windowing my motorized bike piston. Disclaimer on this one, I can't take responsibility for anyone else's work on their pistons and I'll actually be deleting this video if the piston doesn't end up running right for me. So the idea of windowing my piston comes from the new triple reed intake that you guys got to see in the last episode. We have to run a windowed piston on this new setup and cylinder. These pistons are about $15 for a new one so I don't mind trying out my own window and this way I can make it the size that I feel will work best with my setup. To remove the pin clip, I'm using needle nose pliers and grabbing the center of it doing a twist and pulling movement to take it out of the groove. After that, it comes right out, and we only have to do this on the one side. I don't know what to expect for making my pilot hole, so I have the piston centered using my vise lightly tightened to keep it from shifting when the bit does grab. I ended up using a cobalt bit here with some lubricant and it ended up going through like butter. So after I got a big enough hole for the tungsten bit to fit through, I drew a rough idea of the size I wanted to stay around. You can see my hole isn't lined up with my sketch and that's because I was actually slightly off when I made my pilot hole. Now I need to correct for that when I'm doing my porting. So you can see on that last clip, I was starting to do the details on the piston and basically calling it. I can tell from looking at it for a while now that it's not completely machine perfect, but it's uh, close enough for me. And rather than continuing to make the window bigger and bigger, I decided to just start detailing it basically. I did end up going at an angle with the die grinder to basically shave away those walls. So when you're looking at it like this, it does just look straight through. Um, and these lines right here are actually just uh, centering lines with some machine marks on the inside of the piston right here. So those lines there I use to keep my window under control and centered with the arrow up here. So before I go ahead and put this back into the motor now, I'm going to take the rings off of it, which I should have did in the beginning, and make sure that no metal's in there. I'm gonna use the air compressor and really blow it out nice. And I'm also gonna, actually before I do that, I'm going to take a file and just very lightly get any burrs off of here. Here and um, on the side skirts as well, on these edges here. There's just a little bit. Um, I know it's not gonna be any kind of deal breaker for a motor like this, but why not just get it as best as I can since I do feel a tiny bit of burr on some of these sides. But that's gonna be it for the windowing part. Next, you guys will see the uh, ported reed install in that cylinder that I unboxed with the new carburetor. And we're gonna put that fret head on it and the brand new exhaust as well to really see if all this is gonna to work together and hopefully the uh, window piston does what it's supposed to do. And I also will probably be doing just a little bit of cleanup porting to that new cylinder as well. So I'm excited about that. I got a little bit of uh, warm up going with doing this hole now. So uh, hope you guys like this video and comment down below what you think about the build series. More to come. Thank you for watching.